video will uh, discuss about the calibration of single phase energy meter so after uh, uh, discussion and uh, procedure and uh, theory about the calibration single phase energy meter we will see hands on how we are doing the experiment so here if you see uh, the <coughs> calibration what do you mean by calibration calibration is nothing but we are finding the error by comparing the reading of the actual meter by taking the consideration of uh, other meters which are going to be used to measure the actual value. So here in this uh, experiment uh, we are going to see the calibration of energy meter by taking uh, the comparison of voltmeter and ammeter reading. So as you know the AC, uh, this is a single phase induction, uh, single phase energy meter calibration. That means uh, it is an induction type instrument so it can work only for AC appliances. So as you know here if you see the power Power is nothing but the product of voltage current multiplied with the power factor. So here uh, we are going to consider a unity power factor load that is a resistive load. So in the resistive load uh, the power factor is unity that is 1. So that's why uh, if you multiply the product of voltage and current with the power factor will give the actual power consumed by the uh, particular load. Now as you know the energy meter which is going to measure the energy. So energy is nothing but the product of uh, power multiplied by the time. Okay, that means a uh, kilowatt of kilowatt hour. That is a uh, power is in kilowatts, time in hours. That will give us uh, energy consumed by that particular load. So before going to start the experiment, I will see the list of uh, operators required uh, for this experiment. Those are first uh, the auto transformer, which is going to vary the value of the input given to the particular uh, <coughs> load and next uh, you can see the ammeter to measure the uh, current supplied to the load and a voltmeter now this will used to measure how much voltage we are going to apply across the load and in the same way uh, to record the number of units consumed by that particular load we are going to use a energy meter now this is our calibrated component here uh, to find out the uh, error uh, which is going to be measured by this uh, uh, voltmeter and ammeter. So first we will see the hands on how we are going to do this experiment. So first uh, please uh, switch on this uh, auto transformer. After switching on the auto transformer slowly vary the auto transformer uh, by using this knob you can slowly vary the auto transformer step by step. Now the rated voltage is 230 volts for single phase. So just apply 230 volts by using the auto transformer. You can observe the reading in the voltmeter. You can observe the voltmeter reading. See I just I will set that voltmeter reading to 230 volts. So as you know uh, so far we, uh, we have not applied any load on this uh, uh, particular uh, so far we, uh, we have not applied any load so that's why the ammeter reading is equal to zero so and one more thing here you can see as it is a uh, load is open circuited you can't find any rotation of the disk inside the energy meter so that means uh, the energy meter is not going to record any value in the same way ammeter shows a zero reading so next uh, first we will start uh, step by step we will apply the load on this uh, uh, particular energy meter. So now I will switch on the first load. Now here you can uh, you can't find anything because it's a very small value. Now next I will increase a one more load. So now you can read the ammeter reading here. So now this is ammeter reading that is two ampere column. You can uh, see here serial number, current, how much current is going to be consumed by the load. Next to voltage, uh, how much voltage we applied applied across this. Uh, particular load next uh, actual reading next uh, time for revolution and this is a percentage of error that means uh, actual value minus uh, this particular value by total actual value that will give us an error so we'll, uh, just uh, first we'll start with the open circuit okay now if you see the open circuit reading now first uh, serial number one current is zero voltage we applied the voltage that is 230 volts next uh, actual reading so V i cos pi anyway i value is 0 so this value is also 0 time for revolution so ok there is no rotation of the uh, energy meter so this is 0 and error is also 0 
now we will see uh, the next second reading by applying the law now you can see the current which is going to be drawn by the load that is 2 amperes 2 amperes and the voltage here is there is a small voltage drop here due to the resistive load that is around uh, there is a small decrement around the 3 volts that is 227 and uh, you can calculate this actual uh, reading uh, by taking the power factor as unity you can calculate it later and one more thing here uh, time for revolution we can see this is 3600 is a constant into we are going to take 5 revolutions of this energy meter by this is a meter constant k and uh, this is a time taken for uh, 5 revolutions so see here here this is a meter constant so in this meter you can find the meter constant is 600 so that's why the k value here is 600 this is a meter 600 a revolutions per kilowatt hour so that means this meter will measures 1 kilowatt hour of energy when it rotates the, the disc rotates 600 revolutions so it will record 1 unit of energy now this is the first one the first recording uh, first reading is uh, under no load and the second reading is at uh, 2 amperes of current and there is a drop of voltage 227 then you can calculate this and so i will show this uh, how uh, how much time it is going to be taken to complete five revolutions so to do that uh, please take a stopwatch in the stopwatch you can hmm. okay by using stopwatch uh, we can calculate uh, the reading of this uh, energy meter so uh, first uh, before going to start that uh, uh, recording of this uh, revolutions you just uh, check it out uh, that red mark so when the red mark comes uh, coincide with the arrow mark you can stop uh, counting yeah i started here no uh, five revolutions just to calculate for five revolutions One, two, three, four, Five. So for five revolution, it has taken uh, one minute uh, fifteen seconds. So I will just note down this uh, value here. Uh, yeah, one minute sixteen seconds. Okay, one minute sixteen seconds means uh, sixty seconds for one minute sixteen and sixteen. Uh, sixteen means how many seconds? Uh, uh, sixty plus ten, uh, seventy. So uh, seventy six seconds. So it has taken 76 seconds for one revolution. So as the load is less, so you can calculate this value Vi cos phi. Anyway, cos phi is a unity one, and you can calculate it. Next here, you can calculate the value, recorded value, uh, 3,600. So as you know, uh, we are going to convert into kilowatt hours. So that's why we are. Go uh, these are in seconds. So that's why we are going to take the 3,600 for 5 revolutions by this k value I said uh, k for this energy meter is k is equal to 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour and this uh, time is uh, I just uh, taken this time is 76 seconds and you can calculate the remaining that is, and a percentage of error so next uh, we'll see the one more reading by taking uh, uh, by increasing the load so just I will increase the load
Now I just increase the load. So by increasing the load, you can observe uh, the watt meter uh, ammeter reading. So this ammeter reading is around seven. So this is a seven amperes. And uh, if you see that uh, voltmeter reading, still the voltmeter is reduced because we increase the resistance. So now it is uh, 220. And you can see that uh, time taken for uh, revolution. See the rotation of the disc will be. Increase the speed of the disc increases. So I will start uh, this. Uh, yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So, it has taken just 19 seconds. Earlier, uh, it has taken 76 seconds to complete 5 revolutions. Now, by increasing the load, it has taken only 19 seconds, 19.49 seconds to complete 1 revolution. So, and you can calculate the remaining readings. You can calculate the percentage of error. So, as you know, the percentage of error formula, percentage of error is equal to, so the actual reading, minus this recorded reading kilowatt hours uh, kilowatts only by the actual reading will gives a percentage of error so you can uh, by using a calculator you can do this simple calculations you can substitute here then you will find the percentage of error uh, of this particular energy meter thank you